drills that you can do to acquire that proper body mechanic are what we call A skips and B skips. So what he's going to do is kind of a, a hop, uh, making sure he has those three 90 degree angles, and then he's going to switch legs in the process of that hop as well. So the A skip is, the whole point is to bring the knee up, have 90 degrees at the hip, 90 degrees at the knee, and 90 degrees at the ankle, really focusing on dorsiflexion and landing underneath you. So when it's not done correctly, the knees will not come all the way up. You won't get 90 degrees at the hip, you won't get 90 degrees at the knee, and the toe will go down towards the ground, which means you're hitting and striking the ground sooner than you're supposed to be. Another way of performing the A skip incorrectly is by driving the knee and hip past 90 degrees, which then makes you much more slower and cumbersome and doesn't allow you to gain any speed. So the other drill that we can do to assure that we have proper sprint mechanics is the B drill, is the B skip. So what's going to happen is he's going to come up 90 degrees. This leg is going to come out. He's going to keep this toe dorsiflexed all the way until he reaches to the ground. We don't want him, bring this leg back up, to point the toe because then what's going to happen is contact is going to happen before he gets underneath him. We want his center of mass directly over his feet, which means dorsiflexion and back down. A correct B skip, again, you're going to find the 90 degrees in the hip, 90 degrees in the knee, and then once you, your leg is up, you're going to extend that knee and bring it down still focusing on dorsiflexing that foot so that the foot lands directly beneath the body mass. So a common thing that happens with the B step and that is absolutely incorrect is when the athlete fails to bring the hips up to 90 degrees, the knee at 90 degrees, and then you're in a position where you're pulling yourself over over your foot instead of landing right beneath you.